everyone how are you doing it's Yuli here and in this video today we are gonna be testing the following product it's the Samsung Galaxy watch active 2 <music> do a wireless radiation test for this product. We'll start unpacking it and we'll start measuring it using an EMF meter. How much EMF and how much radio frequencies is the watch emitting and we'll try to conclude if the product is safe to use or not safe to use. So for the purpose of the testing we're going to be using the following RF meter. It's an EMF field acoustimeter uh, model AM10. That's the one we're going to use for the purpose of this video and for the purpose of the testing we are going to be doing. In the room where I am right now, those are the existing levels of EMF, out of which we'll see how much the Galaxy watch is emitting. So it's approximately 0.3 volts per meter depending on the exact location and we'll see it as well on the video. So let's jump into the actual testing. All right so the place I'm doing the testing currently the meter is picking up as you can see here maximum 0.3 volts and 0 to 6 volts. Now we are going to introduce the Samsung watch into the mix right now it's still shut off uh, we're gonna start by uh, turning it on and we'll start measuring uh, how much uh, radio frequencies it's emitting and there you go the watch is being turned on already picked to three six eight volts per meter and uh, Oh well, even if we bring it here, it's three, six, eight volts per meter, and we just turned on the watch. Says, let's go. Uh, look how much it's emitting. Now, this is something you're putting on your wrist. It's on your body, touching your skin. It's not even as far as I'm doing this video and having some distance. Three point eight. So currently the watch even gets to 4 volts per meter, so it's already creating DNA damage. Now look what happens when we shift the watch, let's see. The more distance we create, already it lowers, it's still high, the meter is still picking up 1.7 volts per meter, that's three, two and a half to 3 times lower when we have this distance. The problem with the watch, again, you put it on your wrist. Again, let's bring it closer. Goes to 4.4 volts per meter. Now, that's not all. The watch has to pair with the phone. So look how much the phone is emitting when I'm gonna turn on the Bluetooth on top of it. Okay, this is not changing that too much. As we can see right now, probably there is no Pairing, but this is also working with other EMFs. This is just the Galaxy Watch, as we can see. As we can see, it picked to 565, probably because of the Bluetooth of the phone as well. Uh, but again, distance is your friend with any type of EMF, as we'll show again. But really, this watch is just emitting crazy amount of high RF volts per meter as this meter is picking up. And those are very high and unsafe amounts for something you're supposed to wear 24 seven, even pick to five, six, five. Um, wow. <laughs> so um, yeah, the meter does the saying and it shows what levels um, it's picking up from the Samsung watch, which we are um, testing right now. All right, so after I've shown you the actual measurements from the RF EMF meter, I conclude that the watch is simply not safe to use. You don't want to expose yourself to such levels. 
every day, especially something which is going to be on your skin, on your body, and people are wearing it 24 seven. It's not something you put in for five minutes and forget about it. This is a 24 seven exposure for most people. Therefore, the quick conclusion we have here right away, it's not safe to use. It's not an EMF friendly device and we recommend not to use it. Please find an alternative and don't use the Samsung Galaxy Watch. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave comments below. We would love to hear your thoughts and any feedback for what you've seen in this video or any of our videos. And please smash the subscribe button below for more EMF protection videos, for more wireless radiation tests, for more advice how to mitigate EMF and live a better and healthier life. Hope you like this video and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care and have a great day. Thank you.